In a month filled of crappy movies hitting movie theaters, we turn to Hulu and Jake Johnson. What's going on guys and welcome to the movie dive. Today we're going to be diving into the directorial debut for Jake Johnson and his new movie Self-Reliance. As stated, this movie is directed by Jake Johnson and also stars Jake Johnson along with a bunch of characters that seem to pop in for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. We have Anna Kendrick, Andy Samberg, Emily Hemsphere, Natalie Morales pops in there, Gata from Dave, even Christopher Lloyd makes an appearance in this film. Before we dive in any deeper to Self-Reliance, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Every 100 subscribers, I'll be picking a random subscriber to win a $50 gift card to a movie theater of their choice, only one max per month. And hence, hence, you have a better chance of winning if you comment down below. I think it's pretty cool that funny man Jake Johnson decided to take a swing at directing with self-reliance. It does have that low budget feel and that going straight to Hulu type feel. It is produced by The Lonely Island. One thing I noticed, it seemed like it was trying to go after those same themes as Palm Springs did back in 2020, which I think that was such a, a great movie to watch while we were all stuck inside during COVID. And it had a good mix of drama and comedy. This seemed to try to hit those same beats Beats, but with a weird story behind it. There was a lot of stuff going on that seemed like they were trying to swing pretty big with your imagination. However, a lot of it didn't really hit for me. There was some moments where I was very in tune to the movie and wanted to see where Jake Johnson's character was leading to. And I thought there was going to be some kind of ending that was a surprise or maybe a twist. And it sort of just kind of ended with a dud for me. Jake Johnson and Kendrick are kind of each other's love interest in the movie, which it was, it was kind of hard to pick up on because I didn't feel their chemistry whatsoever. And then suddenly, they were talking about how they have feelings for each other. It seemed kind of rushed and didn't really make much sense to me. Although there is like fun appearances, as stated before, like Christopher Lloyd, their appearances seem kind of shallow when they show up. It is kind of, I guess, for effect to see these characters once again in a movie, but don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say Self-Reliance is a bad movie per se, but it's definitely not a good one. It's something I threw on last night while I was doing some work on my computer, and I think that is kind of the perfect way to watch this movie. It is a quick watch, an hour and 25 minutes. I'm glad it is that fast because it started to feel... A little dragged out towards the end and you're left thinking what was what was the purpose of that movie jake johnson as he he normally seems to do is play this down on his luck kind of guy the movie kind of takes him through this experience that kind of changes him i'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to interpret what he's going through but the problem is i don't really seem to care towards the end of the movie there's a lot of those films where they leave it up to interpretation and you go on searching about it after the film ends this one wasn't really like that it kind of ended and i was like i don't really care to find out it was enjoyable to watch but i'm gonna forget about this movie pretty shortly so I'm going to go ahead and give Self-Reliance. I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's Jake Johnson's directorial debut. I do like how he's breaking away from just doing sitcoms and different kind of comedy movies. What did you guys think about Self-Reliance? Please comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the Movie Dive.